Hi there, this is just a quick intro. We are going to the computer right now. I'm gonna show you how I cross post everything I post on my blog to different social media websites. And if you like what you see, if you wanna do something similar there, keep watching because I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, let's go. Every time I create a new note on Obsidian, it triggers a plugin that shows me all the templates available. The one I'm looking for is blog post. It will create a front matter with all the relevant fields and also today's date. Next, let's write a post with or without a title. It's optional. When I'm happy with the post, I can use the keyboard shortcut common M to open micro publish. Since this is a short post, I don't want it to have a title, so I'll delete this. My blog is already selected, but the visibility is set to draft, so I'll change this to public. Finally, I'll click on publish, and that's it. It's now on my blog, and since my blog is set to cross post to selected social networks, it's also there. Let's take a look. Here it is on Mastodon, but it's also on other social media. Let's take a look at Blue Sky. And again, here it is. And finally, let's go to LinkedIn. And again, here it is. And of course, let's not forget my website. Everything started from there. So here is the post on my blog. Because everything starts on an Obsidian node, I have a backup of everything I'm publishing online. And because Microblog has this cross-posting feature, <laughs> it's so easy. All I have to do is write that note and hit publish. I'll show you all the tools I used to create this system. But before that, let's talk a little bit about Twitter and threads. Because of limitations on these platforms, there's no way to cross post to them, but microblog can also help us here. Let me show you what I mean. On microblog, if we go to posts and click on cross post, we'll see some of the options. And from here, I can click, for example, on threads. It will compose uh, a post based on that post. And all I have to do is click post. And here it is. Let's go back to microblog again and Twitter. Post. And here it is. Okay, I moved to my test account, the one I used to record these videos. And let's start with the template part of the system. What I have here is a front matter with information that MicroPublish, another template, we'll get there, will use to publish this note as a post on microblog. There's the title. The date is something I added because I wanted to know when I published that. Then there is, and, and this code here will create a new template with today's date. Then there's the URL. This is something the MicroPublish plugin will add to this note after it publishes the, the note as a post. And the tags that on microblog are categories, but when you add them here, they will be converted to microblog categories. Okay, let's go back to a prettier view of the front matter and add the auto template trigger plugin. Let's go to the community plugins, uh, look for it. Here it is, install. That's it. <laughs> Every time I create a new note now, it will show me the notes I have inside my templates folder. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you are new to Obsidian first, you should watch all these other videos. But here we are. You can set a folder to be your templates folder, template folder location. So every note inside this folder 
is a template. Okay, this is the first step. Now let's talk about the blog portion of this system. I'm using microblog. There's an entire video about microblog. I suggest you watch it. Today I'm going to only talk about publishing. But to publish on microblog, we first need to install another uh, plugin, Obsidian plugin called MicroPublish. So let's do it. Okay, let's go back to the plugins and look for the MicroPublish plugin. Here it is. Install. Enable. Now we have to go to microblog again. Go to accounts. And down here you find the app tokens option. You see that I already have MicroPublish connected. This is connected to my main Obsidian account, but let's create a new one here. MicroPublish 2. You can add whatever name you want and generate the token. Now let's copy this. Go back to Obsidian. Enter the token here and log in. That's it. We now have both accounts connected. MicroPublish website has very good tutorials. You'll find the link in the description below, but let's go through some of the, 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 the main settings here. The first one are the blogs. I have two blogs, one in English and another one in Portuguese, and I can select one or another when I'm publishing. And if I add a new blog, I can click here to synchronize again and capture that new blog information. I can also add a default category to be always published with new posts. The visibility, I prefer to leave it in draft mode, but as you have seen in the beginning of the video, you can switch, change to the publish mode before publishing. This will automatically add new pages to your website, not posts, pages. I prefer to leave this off and turn the pages on going to the website to microblog settings. There is the categories synchronization. This will run every time you open Obsidian and it will synchronize new categories so you'll be able to choose them before posting. And if you like the plugin, you can always buy Octavio a coffee. Please do it if you like it. It's, it's a great plugin. And by the way, you can also buy me a coffee. You'll find a link in the description below. So that's it for the settings. Of course, you can log out here. So let me show you now some of the features. Okay, let's start with this new icon here on the sidebar. This is for short posts. You can write something here, select a blog, select draft or public and post. I don't use this one because it doesn't save what I published and I can, let's create a new post here, blog post, because I can always create a short post uh, from a note. This will save the note on Obsidian and will post it as a short post. All I have to do is write something here and go to the command palette and look for micro publish options. The first one here is the micro post, the, the one you, you I, I just showed you. Let me click here. Okay. Then there is synchronized categories. We can synchronize them, manually synchronize them. And here it is, publish a post. If I click here, I'll see that same window. And if I don't want it with a title, I just want a short post. All I have to do is delete the title and select a blog, add a category if I want to, change the visibility and publish it. I can also create a page and publish it from here. It's the same thing, but this is a page. These are the, the, the pages I have on top of my website. This is, these are static pages. Okay. It's the same thing. I can choose the blog at create a name and add it to uh, the navigation or not. I prefer to do it like this because I keep a copy of everything I publish. And once that's published, MicroPublish will automatically add the URL to this field. And this is what links the note to the post or the page. So everything you change here 
will be updated if you publish again. All you have to do is publish again, and that will update the post. Here, let's go back to my main account for a moment. This is the post I started this video with. And as you can see, the URL field has now a address. So that's the address of this post. Any change I make here will update that post if I publish it again. What about creating a shortcut? So let's go back to the settings and choose hotkeys, micro publish. The only one I have is command M, micro publish, because I rarely update pages. So I don't, I don't see a reason to create a, a, a keyboard shortcut, but it's up to you. So now every time I want to publish a new post or update an old one, all I have to do is common M and I'll see that dialog box, that pop-up window. Okay, let's move to the next step of this system. But before that, if you like experiences and experiments like this one, if you enjoy them, please subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Okay, back to microblog. Let's go to accounts again. And here, there is this option here, edit sources and cross posting. Here, all you have to do is select the accounts you want to cross post to, enter your credentials. And from that point on, microblog will publish everything to that account. If it's a short post, it will post only the, the post, the text you, 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 you entered. If it is a long post, a blog post, it will add the title of that post and a link back to your blog. That's it. If this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. It helps a lot. But if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.